Hi, so today we are going to focus on our stick model and something that I did roughly, right? it's going to be this one, which has this kind of series of sticks and a bit of a fabric and a base. What we just want to work on is a workflow or not trying to model stick by stick, uh, but actually having workflows that en enable you to create this kind of uh, um, movements of, of, of kind of uh, evolution of, on the geometry or or the placement or orientation of the sticks themselves. All right? So this is going to be our or orientation model, not going to follow it accurately, but um, it's going to be uh, something similar. So we'll start with the, with the, with the base, let's say, um, and uh, let's start with the polyline, and I'll put it again 0, 0, 0, and enter and give a 9 centimeters or 90 millimeters in this case uh, length and uh, again I want to go actually go 45 degrees but if I press shift it just snaps to 90 degrees so 0, 98 and then an 80 what you can do is if you right click in, in Windows on Orto you go into the into options and you can actually add, add other uh, other angles and I'm going in, in Mac you just go uh, to preferences but uh, and go into modeling aids and you'll see that the object snaps come in. If you again in Windows if you right click on top of, of the ortho it will give you immediately this and I'm going to put 45 degrees uh, for example and like this it will ortho every time you press shift it will ortho, uh, ortho on, on to 45 degrees. Uh, so now if I press shift as you see 45, 90 and you can put 30 degrees and all and sort. So I'm just going to do 45 degrees and extend uh, another 10 that size and try to replicate what we had before and then uh, another 90 length press shift and uh, trying to get the 45 degrees and uh, and the close uh, close the curve oops uh, I'll press the button. All right, so now we have a closed curve. Again, for the base, uh, you can immediately, if you want, extrude. Like extrude curve, again, solid. I'm going to make it, at, let's say, a one centimeter base. Uh, so, actually, I'm going to make a five centimeter base, a half, a, half a centimeter base. So, press five. Uh, press enter and it's done. So now we have this space and uh, I'm going to start uh, adding um, uh, sticks into it. So basically what you can do in, in Rhino, one fast way of modeling sticks is uh, whatever if you have a polyline let's say and uh, what allows you to do is the pipe command. So if you go to uh, surface tools and, um, and it's going to be uh, the pipe, uh, which I don't really know where it's coming in, but this one, pipe command, and you basically select the rail. What this allows you is uh, it select the rail into the into this uh, selected uh, into this area. So after it will ask you the start of the radius, and in this case I'm going to put let's put two uh, again. Capping is how do you want to end that piping? I'll show you. In this case, I'll put it flat, and uh, shape blending it's going to be local. Uh, but you can also tick fit to rail. Press OK, enter, and end of the radius. So what you can do is start it with the two, and then if the wire actually, if it's a tube or something like that, you can add different dimensions. But in this case, it's going to be the same because it's just a wireframe or a stick model. So uh, that's it. If you want to add anything else in the middle, uh, so you could actually add something here and put uh, this uh, this radio of, of 10 and then so it would create this kind of uh, element. And once you are done, you just double click. Basically, it will allow you this. So the reason why this created this kind of a form is because it uh, it just looks for every segment individually. But you can see it started with a 2 start evolving it to the to the um, to the to the 
diagram the, to the diameter that was enlarged and ended up back, back into so in order to make bottles and things like that this is useful but in our case um, and it just broke apart because again we didn't connect the, the element but in our case since we are just going to do a wireframe uh, again the pipe command will allow you to select the rail again and uh, to fit rail in this case press enter the end rail is the same fit rail and you don't want to add anything else for being the same so now immediately you start getting as you can see you get one uh, one surface because you just put fit to rail um, so that's that's how we're going to basically model our 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 uh, wireframe model so basically you need to know the dimensions of the sticks uh, and let's start actually uh, trying to uh, create some sort of a structure here uh, that's vertical that starts from this base and uh, and start modeling that um, so for that I'll start going again to the curve tools or you go to the polyline or line press enter click uh, uh, we can enable the endpoints and snap to it and uh, I'm going to uh, try to create uh, this small um, a small tent let's say and with a 50 of height press enter uh, if you want again if you want to um, go into these points as well um, you can you can always use now the planner so if you use the planner tool now and if you are want to draw anything as you can see if you are not snapping to anything when you click the planner tool basically it will only draw in the same uh, element as you can see here it's always in the perspective it draws parallel to the CP plane never goes down so if I'll say now um, I said uh, was uh, I think 90 uh, press shift uh, because it's the 45 degrees and then 10 press enter shift and uh, again 90 press enter shift uh, oops shift and I'll close this one uh, no I cannot close because if I close it will close down to there so actually I'm going to snap it to here right so I'll turn on my my points and uh, basically I did close it actually so if it disoccurs the curve uh, you explode the curve that's to, uh, to basically oh sorry I did I did the surface so basically exploding it ungroups everything so it becomes all the geometries actually I, I want to go and explode the curve itself so explode and um, Explode is also on the curve tools. It's this explosion symbol. Now you have different curves. So I don't need this segment, but uh, I want to um, end up this connected to there. Press enter. And now to group everything again or to join geometrically, uh, you group and, 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 and explode are different because the explosion divides the, the, um, the geometries. Uh, grouping is still just gathers them but there could be still divided so they both exist in, in Rhino in this case we are going to join the geometries in this case is our curve so it's like that one, that one, that one, that one and this one uh, and you make one uh, this will save us the trouble because if you are going to pipe now uh, you can pipe immediately from there so I'm going to give a one radius and press enter and the end radius is going to be end one as well and if you want to add an, any other point I don't press enter and it will basically create that uh, that nice uh, pipe right so now if I want for example to create um, this structure here uh, exactly the same thing again you always use the curves and you can add these surfaces to another layer and that's what I'm going to do here so I'll put it in layer uh, five yep and now I can lock it so now every time I select it it will never pick it up it will just pick it up the line itself so I'm going to snap to that line 
and uh, and press enter and enter and so we can always put any points from here to there or whatever it might be so in this case it's going to be this and uh, select all of them and pipe again press enter and there you go so now again you need to select these ones put them on the right uh, layer the extrusion I only use the surfaces for that so that goes for layer 5 now you can you can only select the curves now for example if I want to have a curvy element here so something that that does something like this that starts here goes down to the midpoint here uh, where's the midpoint uh, I'm going to take it the planner one midpoint there you go and then that so now I want to actually use uh, all this and put sticks that start on this edge and end up end up on this curve right so what one thing that needs to be done actually I need to put this curve further ahead so I'm going to use the edit point command which you you, you learned and you know get it there you can select that point there and move it up and to the midpoint and that's where I actually wanted to go uh, and now what you know if you want to put sticks you could actually go with a polyline and go from here to somewhere here but you don't know where you're going to, to trace it actually if, if there's only midpoints there's only you know you can you can snap to few, very few points in this case uh, you can have knots uh, and perhaps it will it doesn't even snap to that one so actually uh, if you turn on the point it does snap to that one but what if you want to have all the points in this curve right so you don't want to have only one this and that one there you actually want to have it uh, to, throughout the curve so what I'm going to do is um, is create points on that curve right create the points on the curve and then connect them into the curve itself so to create additional points on this curve so edit point on uh, you basically see that you have one, two, three, four, five points, starting points and end points. So if you want to add points to this curve, you go uh, rebuild curve, rebuild is the command, and you see this is the number of points that you have in the curve, which is five. I want to actually add, uh, let's say, 20, and, uh, <clears throat> and the degree of the curve out should maintain the same because you want, it's a curvature, so three. And you, you put rebuild, so now what you go and see is um, you start having more points. Actually, it's still not, I only put 10 points, so I'm going to rebuild the same uh, and uh, add more points into it. So actually I wanted 20, okay? or, or maybe let's put 30. So you don't want to model 30 sticks. You want actually to start um, and having all of that already uh, pre-prepared right so this is one way of uh, of doing it and then you can actually connect those of them point again you need to turn on the point on and then go to the point element there right so this is one way of doing it uh, which is still a bit laborious uh, what I'm going to uh, advise you is to um, I'm going to turn off the, the surface now uh, and use these uh, these tools, uh, this uh, this curve. I'm going to redo another one, and use a command that will allow you to uh, to create the surface between here and there, and subdivide it uh, into into different little segments. So that command is going. I'm going to use another line here. Uh, yeah, let's let's end up with this one, this endpoint, and sorry start with 
this and let's put it on the top of element it's going to overlay but oh, sorry not this one let's do another one that's that actually snaps and and okay so now we have uh, after curves and yeah we want this one right so what we're going to do is create a surface that connects that curve to this curve and that's going to be loft it's going to be really useful it's, it's a type uh, it creates a surface it's also in the surface tools and uh, and uh, it goes it's here if you go surface to uh, surface yeah um, and uh, it's this one here uh, I believe sorry uh, so it's, it's one of these uh, uh, this one sorry this is loft and you go and you press select the curves so it basically instead of extruding a surface with only one curve it connects one curve to the second curve or more so in this case I'm going to create the small one right that's what I wanted press enter I loft it and that creates so it became a bit of a problem because there's a starting point and an ending point of the loft and actually this is a start point and it connected to the start point there this is how I chose and because I chose randomly but you can always align curves and basically you see it, tell that point to be the starting point and then it gives you this curvature okay and then you can say loft so this basically creates this surface so now from this surface what you can do is uh, extract uh, many many points on the on the on the surface and what you can actually uh, use is uh, show ISO curves or and uh, click 10 or 30 and basically it will start giving all these curves right so this is a bit too intense so let's put 20 so it subdivides the surface into 20 by 20 right so once you have that it, it basically it's the surface itself but what you're going to do is use these lines just these ones the that are going towards the, the that center point to the curve and and actually extract those lines uh, to become part of your stick so that's one way of extracting lines and and instead of drawing them manually which is uh, it's possible but takes a lot of time um, so what you do we go to uh, to curve to sorry to view um, no to curve curve from objects and then extract uh, it can extract everywhere as a curve or extract wireframe in this case what it says when it says extract wireframe uh, basically this surface you can get rid of it and you stay with the wireframe only all right so this is the wireframe and now in order to um, to uh, select only the curves that you don't want to do you just uh, go and select these ones and uh, yeah, one, one way of using is going to select from the middle, not none. Actually, from here. And let's control on this one because I don't want to erase this one, sorry. Ah. Just um, so here we go. Start from here. And uh, if you want to deselect, you just press on on the con on the command. Uh, in uh, what happened? I don't know. I didn't erase. Let's it again okay I'm, I'm extracting wireframe I don't want to extract wireframe sorry I was in the command so select them and press delete and uh, this one as well uh, 
and the latest ones, these ones. Press delete. So now you start having only those uh, planes. And now obviously you know what you do next. Basically what you want to go is uh, pipe everything that you have here, right? So uh, you don't want to pipe these ones that are already done, but uh, everything but that one, right? So basically what you're going to do is select from here, maybe it will be the users, the easiest one, um, from here to there. Here they are all selected, yep. I don't have anyone here, okay. And um, now pipe, press enter. Uh, pipe radius one is fine, press enter, and there you go. So this is the easiest way, instead of actually connecting all the, all the lines and uh, connecting all the lines, uh, this is the easiest way of, of uh, trying to uh, you know, um, model everything. You just use a surface to remodel everything, okay? And uh, you can, if you want to make it even more uh, complex, you can always use these ones. And uh, let's let's go and, and uh, mirror them basically. Um, just let's mirror the these ones. And uh, you know, press the command in order to deselect what you don't want to get mirrored. And uh, if you are happy with it, this one's fine. And uh, mirror this mirror. So if you had a symmetrical model, for example, and say, let's say, okay, um, let's start there and end up on the other end. You don't need to snap to app. If you press shift, I will go. And there you go. Um, one nice, um, one nice uh, stick model, okay? So we'll continue now with other uh, elements, but uh, this is a good introduction to start modeling with uh, through wireframes or um, any kind of wireframe as well. It will also use uh, any kind of element. Okay, thank you.